वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे आई हैव अ वेरी कूल टेक्स्ट इफेक्ट टू शेयर विद यू वो डिड यू सी दैट दैट इज सो कूल बट ऑफ कोर्स इट्स इन बेटा व्हिच मींस आई एम टेस्टिंग दीस आउट सो दे नीड टू बी मॉडिफाइड इवन फर्दर और अ बिट मोर बट टिल देन यू विल हैव एन इफेक्ट लाइक दिस So let's head up to the venture resolve and navigate to fusion page. This is where magic happens. What are you doing? As you can see here, I have the whole file here. And you might have a different workflow which I am having. Well, that's because if you go to workspace and here in layout presets, choose fusion presets and here you have three options. Default, this is what you guys might be having. but if you choose your layout preset to mid flow then you will have this kind of an effect it's totally up to you whichever uh, flow which you want to have it just make my workflow easier in this way so how to win this works for otherwise you can choose any workflow you want you can either add a node by hitting shift plus space bar or grabbing it from the toolbar which you have right here and if you right click on the toolbar you will have these options if you might have customized your toolbar then you will have these options or other toolbar options but if you'll check this default then you will have the same toolbar which i have in case if you don't want this toolbar so you can just quickly come up to this fusion and uncheck this show toolbar that way you will have some more realistic to work with right now you can see that nothing's in here well type your text in here you can type your text here scale it a bit and do some more further changes and this way you will have your text but right now as you can see that it is looking a bit flat ah! in order to change it let's add an image i have this soil kind of image in here with me cause as we are creating that kind of an effect so i'll just directly take this and put it into text but right now as you can see that we only have this blue input which is mask input and we don't want that so remove it and go to text and in here go to image sorry go to shading and in shading as you can see over here in properties you have this type right now it's set to solid change it to image and now take your media and put it in this white input that we have now Damn! you can see that your style properties has been changed but right now it's not set it up the way that we want it so click on this text and again in the shading tab in the properties panel as you can see that we have many options you have this mapping angle and you can see what's happening in there you have the stretch to fit are you okay will will create a bump map and take the uh, take those normals from it with the help of channel boolean and then put it into the shader and let me show you what i mean create pump map hit enter you can also type cbu you see this little bracket over here and in this bracket for example if i type xf you will have a transform node well these are the short form to save your time now with this pump map bring it over here take your text put it to the bump input and if i'll give my bump you can see that we have some slight changes over here well go to this bump and increase the height scale and now you can see that we have this bump which is really strong right now and also you can see that we are having these uh, input of the image well that is what we wanted didn't we we are having very harsh image so instead of that after this text node add a blur node and after this blur let us also add one more node erode and dilate now what does this erode and dilate do obviously it shrinks and expands your selection let me just show you right now it's zero and filter is set to box change this filter to gaussian and erode dilate if you will put this value in a negative then in this way you will have an effect like this obviously it's shrinking and if you put it in the positive it will expand and it's inflating those holes so in our case we will shrink it up a bit something like this maybe and now if i connect this bump map to a channel boolean yep this one not the 3d one
and now if i connect this channel boolean and hold shift and when you see the color change in the pipeline release it now it's connected here and take this create bump and put it in foreground of this channel boolean again if i see this right now it's like this but we just need the normal maps from it and channel boolean is a best node to separate your all the channels right now it's set to color and you can see we have something like this which you don't want so let's go to aux and here enable extra channels and in x y and z normals we will change it to red foreground green and blue and in here set all of these to do nothing all right now in the color section nothing will change okay so that's why in the color nothing has changed it's just showing me like this and obviously we have this alpha out image because of the script bumper but now if we shift this to normals you can see the red normals x normal y and your normal z now we have these normal maps separated in a different channel and that is really cool well what we can do now is let's just add a shader node after channel boolean and now this channel boolean is taking the normals and shifting it to shader so this shader node in order to use this you need a specific normal channel okay this is i think the best way to explain it to you guys well now if i take the shader and bring it to the viewer now you can see you have something like this well it is looking like pure garbage so click on the shader and click on this inspector if you don't have it enable enable it from here and if you increase or decrease this diffuse nothing is happening increase the ambient if you decrease this pickler something has happened and now if you increase this diffuse well 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 you have something and what is this so this ambient is obviously we have these different tabs over here this is light tab shader and settings right now we are missing out with light settings in light you have this ambient light so if you want to change it you can i'll just keep it as as is okay diffuse map is the default map which is text have right now and what type of map we have we have this kind of map and because of this bump map that we created we have these shadows and highlights now you can obviously change the direction of light by coming over here and changing the equator angle all right changing this polar to height value so it totally depends now it's on top but i'll keep it as is again with the shader one more thing that we can do is we can add reflections to it well how maybe increasing the specular no because of this reflection value but right now this input is empty this is environment reflection map so what you can do is an image something like this this is a 360 hdri okay in case you don't know hdri so you can download this from polyheaven or any website polyheaven is the best because you can get a uh, free azure is from it and it shipped to space bar and again type bc for brightness and contrast bring a shade over here let's connect it right click uh, right click hold right click and then put it over here instead of left click and choose environment reflection map now if you click on the shader you can see that we have something we have these uh, shiny dead bits and right now it is looking uh, like not that good because of the resolution that this median have it is very low it is 620 pixels by 417 pixels and right now our project settings is full hd so i apologize for that in case you are wondering that it's looking so bad our text is ready so <laughs> for that we just need a particle limiter which you can get here from the basic toolbar which default toolbar which you have here you see this three particles this is particle limiter this is particle merge this is particle render after this particle limiter we just need a particle render that's pretty much it i'm serious that's what i'm talking about that's why he's here with me that's why he's the goat <laughs> now as you can see right now this particle is emitting all of these particles in the single sphere kind of thing all right well that's why that's because if you come to this particle limiter and in, in 
and here if you click on this region you can see that the region is set to sphere if i'll switch it to q it will change its region to q line then there will be a line right now it's not showing because it's end and start value uh, values are different and you can see that there is particle flowing in here but right now it will not show because we don't have some kind of velocity in it and the same with uh, same with rectangle and same with the mesh if you have some 3d object but right now we need bitmap well you can see by the name bitmap will add an image to this you can either create your own by obviously adding the polygon mask to a green background and creating a leaf shape <laughs> now my drawing skills are not that good so please don't judge on me uh, don't judge me because of this leaf note okay or you can even add an image of the leaf a little bit secret that i want to tell you alpha images are much better text over here or maybe shader like it's totally up to you you can take that and add it to the bitmap region all right in this particular matter go to style and instead of point you can change it to bitmap again and in this bitmap take this leaf image and type it over here so now we have two images as a region as well as style in style we have leaves in region we have the soil but this takes to obviously in this particular limiter change some settings such as just having a keyframe on the first frame which is uh, you know the number of particles that we will have change the life fan settings some variance style change some size settings size variance and etc etc if i obviously and check my checker interlay so you can see the size is small but it's worth it maybe we can increase the size a little bit just a tad bit if you want to so we have our image that is emitting from this emitter and this renderer is rendering this out we can connect this by taking the output of this p render and putting it to the output of shader that will automatically add this merge node and now if we merge it out we have something like this some things which are not looking quite good right now also well that's because of the size of this image as you can see that the resolution of this image is different from the resolution of particle system well we can change it by adding a resize node which will automatically uh, and obviously check this auto resolution we should automatically change the resolution okay. of our leaves and now you can see that we have the size which we wanted of the leaves all right well that is looking good one more thing which you can see that again we have this flatness problem our leaves are looking flat so we can do the same thing that we did over here to our text what creating a bob map adding it to the channel boolean to create some normal maps and then in shaders you can do like this so what i'll do is i'll copy all of it and then paste it over here and then connect it right now as you can see that i don't have that kind of separation or differentiation in it so what i can do is i can add another p merge sorry p emitter and then merge it with this p merge node all right that's why we have this p merge and in this second p emitter i can have another sort of leaf and then add it over here well how again doing the same process all over it but just with the second leaf so let me add it i tried that also but i think that without that p merge we have the possibility of getting this shadow as you can see right here because of that i was not getting shadow earlier now when we have all the leaves spreaded all over this text how to create that transformation effect so we have this basic simple background over here which has been alpha out all right so we have this checker underlay box in here uh then we have this rectangle mask that is on this merge and it is animated in this way all right so it's animated like this it's uh wet property has been animated yeah <laughs> instead of this black background we can put this over here type bc to add oh yeah one more thing have this media i'll check this resize to resize it a bit 
and also a blur node and this blur blur it out to something like 10 and maybe instead of blur lens blur add this brightness contrast again to this this is pretty much it and this tutorial this is a short one and quick one in case you want a detailed tutorial there is a link provided in the description below okay that's a link to the patreon click on it go to my patreon and there you will see all the detailed videos that i have made all the project files all the macros that i have created yep macros which means templates you can just simply download the template and put it in your file change the text and all of the uh, like and all of the effect will take place okay in the next one we'll try to make this a little better i'm trying to get that ivy thing into place so that like for example there is a uh, ivy started from here and it just rotates down like this like a snake rotates 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 and come up and leaves also grow with it so in that we will need to use some p spawn also p custom maybe and this will be the first time that i have you i will be using p custom so that is something unique also uh we'll see maybe we don't even need that i try to make these as short as possible okay and i hope that you like this kind of style and the content okay this is what i'm trying my best to be at because this way tutorials are very interesting and engaging and i myself enjoy like this way all right so yeah that's pretty much it link in the description below go check it out and you know that like share subscribe okay do all of that kind of thing bye bye see you in the next one